The Republican Party's presumptive nominee is proving to be a deal breaker for one Indiana delegate. He's refusing to support Donald Trump, and he says he can't, in good conscience, attend the convention. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live in our newsroom on how this could affect your vote. Katie. Todd Joshua Claiborne says he thinks the convention will end up being a celebration of Donald Trump's candidacy and a coronation for his nomination. And the Evansville attorney says that's not something he's interested in. And it's happening to every state. Indiana's primary proved to be a make or break contest for the Republican presidential candidates. With Ted Cruz and John Kasich's decision to bow out of the race in the last 48 hours, Donald Trump is now the GOP's presumptive nominee. Trump's status isn't sitting well with at-large delegate Joshua Claiborne. He says he disagrees with the candidate on too many critical issues. On his Facebook page, Claiborne writes, Our president must lead not only in matters of policy, but also in symbolic ways. He says on both, Mr. Trump constitutes a danger. I'm certainly not alone in Indiana or throughout the country. Uh, many and perhaps even most of the delegates going uh, did not support Donald Trump as their first candidate. I think the interesting question now will be how many will nonetheless accept him or be willing to support him. Craig Dunn is one of those delegates. He says Kasich was his first choice and he reported receiving threats from Trump supporters last month. But Dunn says he's willing to move on. He says the party needs to unite in order to prevent a Democrat from becoming president. We're at that point where we've always said a guy that gets to 1237, that's uh, who I'm going to support. And uh, so I'm ready to move on this campaign and let's get everybody together and we'll go at them in the fall. The state Republican Party confirms it received Claiborne's official notice and will replace him with another delegate. In a statement, the vice chair of the Trump Indiana campaign says Republican voters sent a clear message. He says anyone still making public statements opposing the Trump-led movement has the right to do so, but is clearly on the wrong side of history. Back to you.